Giovanni. Welcome to Geobi. Hi students, in the previous video we have discussed the topics rational number between two rational numbers and example problems from 6 to 9. In this video we are going to complete the chapter 1 by discussing exercise number 1.2. Now let us see exercise number 1.2. Represent these numbers on the number line. First one, 7 by 4. Second one, minus 5 by 6. Let us represent the number 7 by 4 on the number line. That is first one is 7 by 4. Let us draw a number line. Here in the denominator we have the number 4. So we need to divide the unit place into 4 equal parts. That is we need to divide the place between 0 and 1 and 1 and 2 and 0 and minus 1 into 4 equal parts. That is here 0 means 0 by 4 and next 1 by 4. 2 by 4, 3 by 4 and next 4 by 4 which is equal to 1. Next 5 by 4, 6 by 4, 7 by 4, 8 by 4. Here 8 by 4 is equal to 2. So here we have divided the unit place into four equal parts. That is one, two, three, four. Here also one, two, three, four. Four equal parts. Let us do on the left side of the zero. Minus one by four. Minus two by four. Minus three by four. So now we have to represent the number 7 by 4. Here we have 7 by 4. So let us represent. Here is the number 7 by 4. Now let us see the second one. We have the number minus 5 by 6. Let us draw the number line. Now, here in the number for minus 5 by 6, we have the number 6 in the denominator. So, we need to divide 6 equal parts in the unit place. That is, we need to divide 6 equal parts between minus 1 and 0 and 0 and 1 and 1 and 2. That is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Here also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. On the left side of 0 also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now let us write the numbers. Here 0 which is equal to 0 by 6. Next, 1 by 6. 2 by 6, 3 by 6, 4 by 6, 5 by 6 and 6 by 6. 
here 6 by 6 is equal to 1. After 6 by 6, we will get 7 by 6, 8 by 6, 9 by 6, 10 by 6, 11 by 6 and 12 by 6. Here, 12 by 6 is equal to 2. And from the left side of 0, it is minus 1 by 6, minus 2 by 6, minus 3 by 6, minus 4 by 6, minus 5 by 6 and minus 6 by 6. Where minus 6 by 6 is equal to minus 1. Now, we need to locate the number minus 5 by 6. Here we have the number minus 5 by 6. Let us locate. Here is the number minus 5 by 6. So, we have represented the number both 7 by 4 and minus 5 by 6 on the number line. Now, let us see the second question. Represent minus 2 by 11, comma minus 5 by 11, minus 9 by 11 on the number line. Here the three rational numbers, that is minus 2 by 11, minus 5 by 11 and minus 9 by 11 are the negative numbers. So, let us draw the number line with negative numbers. That is, Zero minus one. Here in the denominator we have the number eleven. So we need to divide the place between minus one and zero into eleven equal parts. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. So, here we can write minus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we have divided 11 equal parts. Now, let us represent the numbers. Before 0, we will get Minus 1 by 11, here minus 2 by 11, minus 3 by 11, minus 4 by 11, minus 5 by 11, minus 6 by 11, minus 7 by 11, minus 8 by 11, minus 9 by 11, minus 10 by 11 and here minus 11 by 11. Here 11, 11 gets cancelled and here we will get minus 1. So now let us represent these three numbers on the number line. First we will represent minus 2 by 11 on the number line. Here we have the number minus 2 by 11. Let us locate it. Here this the number Minus 2 by 11. Next, minus 5 by 11. Here is the number minus 5 by 11. Minus 5 by 11. Now, let us look at minus 9 by 11. Here we have the number minus 9 by 11. Minus 9 by 11. So now, we have located the numbers minus 2 by 11, minus 5 by 11 and minus 9 by 11 on the number line. Let us see the third question. Write 5 rational numbers which are smaller than 2. Here the number 2 can also be written as 
20 by 10. Again here, 10 ones are 10, 10 twos are 20. We will get the same number as 2. So we are writing 2 as 20 by 10. Now we can write the numbers which are less than 20 by 10 easily. So the numbers which are less than 20 by 10 are 19 by 10, 18 by 10, 17 by 10, 16 by 10, 15 by 10, 14 by 10, 13 by 10, 12 by 10, 11 by 10 and so on. So here the numbers will be going on decreasing from 19 by 10 to infinity. So now here we can choose any 5 rational numbers because these are all the numbers which are less than 2. So here we can also write we know that the numbers which are smaller than 2 are 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on which are the numbers less than 2. So directly we can also find the rational numbers in this method also. Now let us see the fourth question. Find 10 rational numbers between minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 2. We have the numbers minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 2. Here the denominators of these two numbers are different. So we will make the denominators same. If we multiply and divide it with the number 10, we will get minus 20 by 5 into 10 is 50. So here we got the number 50 in the denominator. So here also we will change the denominator from the number 2 to 50. So if we multiply and divide it with the number 25, we will get the denominator as 50. Here 25 into 1 is 25 by 25 into 2 is 50. So we have represented minus 2 by 5 as minus 20 by 50 and we have represented the number 1 by 2 as 25 by 50. So now we have the numbers minus 20 by 50 and 25 by 50. Here we have the same denominators that is 50. So now we can find out the rational numbers between minus 20 by 50 and 25 by 50. That is minus 19 by 50, minus 18 by 50, minus 17 by 50, Minus 16 by 50, minus 15 by 50, and so on. 20 by 50, 21 by 50, 22 by 50, 23 by 50, up to 24 by 50. So the rational numbers. Minus 19 by 50, minus 18 by 50, minus 17 by 50, minus 16 by 50, minus 15 by 50 and so on up to 24 by 50 are the rational numbers which are between minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 2. Now you can choose any 10 rational numbers between 
minus 19 by 50 and 24 by 50. Let us see the fifth question. Find 5 rational numbers between first bit 2 by 3 and 4 by 5. The numbers we have are 2 by 3 and 4 by 5. Here the denominators of these two numbers are different. Let us make it same. Let us take as 60. So if we multiply the number 20 and divide it with 20 we will get the denominator as 60. That is 2 by 3 into 20 by 20 is equal to 20 into 2 is 40 by 20 into 3 is 60. So we got 40 by 60. So for the number 4 by 5, if we multiply and divide it with the number 12, we will get the denominator as 60. That is into 12 by 12. That equal to 12 into 4 is 48 by 5 into 12 is 60. So now we have the numbers 40 by 60 and 48 by 60. So now we can easily find the numbers between 40 by 60 and 48 by 60. They are 41 by 60, 42 by 60, 43 by 60, 44 by 60, 45 by 60, 46 by 60, 47 by 60. So, these are the numbers which are between 2 by 3 and 4 by 5. So you can choose any 5 rational numbers from 41 by 60 to 47 by 60. Let us see the second bit in the fifth question. Here we have the numbers minus 3 by 2 and 5 by 3. So we need to find 5 rational numbers between minus 3 by 2 and 5 by 3. We have the numbers minus 3 by 2 and 5 by 3. Here the denominators of these two numbers are different. We will make the denominators as same. Uh, let us take the number as 6. So let us multiply and divide it with the number 3. We will get the denominator as 6 that is minus 3 into 3 is minus 9 by 3 into 2 is 6. So we got the number 6 in the denominator. Here we will multiply and divide with the number 2 so as to get the denominator as 6. Here 5 into 2 is 10 by 3 into 2 is 6. So we have the numbers minus 9 by 6 and 10 by 6. Here 9 by 6 is equal to minus 3 by 2 and 10 by 6 is equal to 5 by 3. So now we can find the rational numbers between minus 9 by 6 and 10 by 6. That is Minus 8 by 6, minus 7 by 6, minus 6 by 6, minus 5 by 6, minus 4 by 6, and so on. 8 by 6 up to 9 by 6. So, minus 8 by 6, comma, minus 7 by 6. Minus 6 by 6, minus 5 by 6, comma, minus 4 by 6, and so on up to 9 by 6. These are the numbers which are between 
minus 3 by 2 and 5 by 3. So, you can choose any 5 rational numbers from minus 8 by 6 to 9 by 6. Now, let us see the third bit in the fifth question. Find 5 rational numbers between 1 by 4 and 1 by 2. We have the numbers 1 by 4 and 1 by 2. Here, the denominators of these numbers are not same. So, we will change the denominator as same. So, if we multiply and divide it with the number 6, we will get the denominator as 24. That is, into 6 by 6 is equal to 6 ones are 6. 6 fours are 24. And if we multiply and divide it with the number 12, that is into 12 by 12, here we will get the denominator as 24. That equal to 12 into 1 is 12 by 12 into 2 is 24. So here we have the numbers 6 by 24 and 12 by 24. Here we have the same denominator that is 24. So now we can easily find out the rational numbers between 6 by 24 and 12 by 24. That is 7 by 24, 8 by 24, 9 by 24, 10 by 24, 11 by 24. So these are the numbers which are between 1 by 4 and 1 by 2. So these are the rational numbers that we found between 6 by 24 and 12 by 24. That is 1 by 4 and 1 by 2. Now let us see the sixth question. Write 5 rational numbers greater than minus 2. So, minus 2 can also be written as minus 20 by 10. So, here minus 20 by 10 is equal to Minus 2. Now here we can find easily the rational numbers which are greater than minus 2. That is minus 19 by 10, minus 18 by 10, minus 17 by 10, minus 16 by 10, minus 15 by 10, minus 14 by 10, and so on up to infinity. So these are the numbers which are greater than minus 2. So we can find the numbers which are greater than minus 2 also. Minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. We know that these are also the numbers which are greater than minus 2. Therefore, you can choose any of the 5 rational numbers in these numbers which are greater than minus 2. Now, let us see the 7th question. Find 10 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 3 by 4. We have the numbers 3 by 5 and 3 by 4. Here we observe that the denominators of these two numbers are different. So, we will make into the same denominators. So, if we multiply the number 16 and divide it with the 16, we will get the denominator as 80. That equal to 16 into 3 is 48. 
by 16 into 5 is 80. So here we got the denominator 80. So here if we multiply and divide it with the number 20, we will get the denominator as 80. So 20 into 3 is equal to 60 by 20 into 4 is 80. So now we have the numbers 48 by 80 and 60 by 80. Now we can find the rational numbers easily between 48 by 80 and 60 by 80. That is 49 by 80, 50 by 80, 51 by 80, 52 by 80, 53 by 80, 54 by 80, 55 by 80, 56 by 80, 57 by 80, 58 by 80 and 59 by 80. So the numbers from 49 by 80 to 59 by 80 are the rational numbers which are between 48 by 80 and 60 by 80. That is 3 by 5 and 3 by 4. So now you can choose any 10 rational numbers in these numbers which are lying between 3 and 5 and 3 by 4. So now you can choose any 10 rational numbers in these numbers which are lying between 3 by 5 and 3 by 4. You are welcome to contact us on telegram to clarify your doubts regarding these topics. Check out the link given in the description. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to Geobyte. Geobyte.